Hello. Today we will talk about the output files generated by post processors. Today we will consider what is meant by out output files, how to manage them, what they are, how to create them, what methods using to write how to append to an arbitrary place in the file to the middle or not just to the end how to filter the data being written and what you can do with the files when they are finished writing a post processor is essentially a converted program. It converts the input to some output files. At the input, the postprocessor has first a set of parameters. This can be the name of the program, the number of the program, or for example, whether you want to display comments and in what format, etc. Secondly, it has sealed data. Sealed data is a universal toolpath formed by the CAMP system in the form of a sequence of comments. At the exit, the postprocessor can generate files in a format that the specific CNC controller understands. Moreover, there can be more than one of these files. Additionally, the postprocessor can produce, for example, some scripts for external programs to compile files into binary format. Finally, the postprocessor can make files for its own use. For example, when working, it ask, asks for some information from the user. It can save this information to a temporary file and on subsequent launches, launches no longer ask the user but simply read it from the temporary file. Today, we will take a look at the output part. A separate video will be assigned to the input parameters and I think there will also be a separate video on working with the CL data. First, I will quickly remind you what file formats are. Files can be divided into two classes, binary and text. Binary files are an arbitrary sequence of bytes. How to inter interpret these bytes is usually only know the program that wrote them. Such files may have an irregular structure. In contrast, text files have a regular structure. Each individual byte, or often two or four bytes, is a separate character. They are coded according to a character's table. This table is called an encoding. For this reason, such files can be read by almost any program. The text files themselves can be considered either as a general files, as a sequence of lines, or as a sequence of characters separated by end-of-line character. To write them, they usually use the stream writer class, which we will discuss below. Another type of text files is a structured text. It can be XML, JSON, or sometimes any files. And let's look at one more classification. In relation to the post-processing system, I divided files in two categories, external files and internal files. External files are files written using general purpose classes, standard or third party. For example, stream writer or XML writer. 
uh, about these files, the post-processing system does not know anything. Therefore, it cannot control them. Second category is the internal files. They are written using special classes provided by the post-processing system itself. It's a text in C file or binary in C file. So it knows how to manage such files, how to display them, or how to post-process them. Now let's look to an examples of how to use external and then how to use internal files. First, one more remark. Since now we have the possibility to use widespread tools like C Sharp or Visual Studio Code, you can find a huge amount of information on the use on the internet. For example, I entered C Sharp writing files and it uh, shows me detailed description with examples how to use the classes. For example, file string class. This information is available not only in English but in any other languages. And for the text file system writer for XML is XML document and not only this way but in other ways are available and for JSON is UTF-8 JSON. Now I will show you how to work with these classes using small examples. Then I will show you how to work with the classes written specifically for the post-processing system. I have prepared a small blank for our further experiments. This is an empty post-processor with only three handlers declared on start project where we will create new files on before command handler. We will write content for our files and on finish project we will finalize the files in this handler. Now let's look at the files of general format. The stream writer class is used to write text files of general format. Now let's look at this code. Here I just defined the variable with the file stream, stream writer class and the name for the file. On the initialization, I have creating new file and define out of flash property to be possible to save it on the disk just on the writing. Inside handling of each command, I just writing the text of each command. When Finalizing, I should to say to the post-processing system that I have written some text file and it will display it. Let's try to execute. First start of seal data viewer is long. The next start will much faster, I think. Let's try without breakpoints. So I have the stream writer text file inside the list. It just fully repeats the list of our seal data commands. Now let's try it again, but with breakpoints.
Let's start. And now I want to attract your attention to this fact. We are writing the files, we are created the Steam Writer class, but the post processing system doesn't know about this class anything, so it can't show any information written to this file. We're just writing, but we have no any information in this section. So we are writing next comment, next comment, and so on. And to be possible to see the content of this file, we need to execute nc files add external file method. nc files is special object that contains the list of output files and it has the add external file method. And the file name as a parameter of this method. Now let's execute and see what will happen. So we have stream writer text file. Let's continue and we have the content of the file here. But not so convenient to debug. Uh, to debug this case, we can use special way. Let's uncomment this line. I will show you. There are special debugging utils. We can write debug right line each time when we are writing some string to the file and let's launch the post and let's look what we will see inside the output now we are executing debug right line in inside debug console window we have the output text and for each comment, we have writing content inside debugging console. But I want to attract your attention. This process is very long because of a debugging tool. So when you are uh, preparing the project for the customer, we need to comment all debugging lines. Now let's look at another example. The next case is using XML document. I have created some format. For the example, on the top level I have seal data commons node and then for each comment I am writing the name of the comment as the node and inside the content of each node I have the text for the comment with full parameter set. Now let's look at the code. And here I just added some few lines to our empty example. Here I also have the name for the file and define document, XML document. Here I am creating the document and now I should to create 
the top level node is a sealed data commons. Sealed data commons node, top level node. Then I just add it to the document. And then for each comment, I should to create the new node and the name of the comment is the name of the node. Then I should to add it to the main node, to the document element. And I am creating the text from the caption from the text of the comment. And uh, finishing, I need to save the document to the file. And fully the same as the, in previous case, I need to add it to the list of output files of the post-processing system. Now let's execute. And it's fully the same as in previous case because it's in the external files. So we have no any description inside the CL data viewer because post processing system does not know anything about this class. So to be possible to see the content we need to save it on the disk and execute add external file method and we have the file inside seal data viewer now the next example is json Let's look at the JSON file writing example. JSON is an some structured format of text. Uh, it's just a little more compact than the XML because it has braces and square brackets to define the start and the end of the object. And uh, it has the name of the record, then column, and the value. Here is just long array as the value. Let's look at this exact code. I have seal data comments as a top level node and then for each comment I have just the text. Let's look at the code and one remark on the start to be possible to use some class defined inside some external library I need to define this library at the using section. For example for utf awesome JSON writer I need to define system text json library that i can can find inside the menu of this class here i i'm defining the file name variable and at the start i am creating the file stream object the file stream is used to write all files binary files and utf and json UTF-8 JSON writer is just wrapper for this file stream object. It adds some additional functionality to the writing. And I defining some option to 
get intended format with spaces and then I'm starting to write at the right start object it's writing open brace at the right start array it's writing the name colon and the opening square bracket then for each comment I'm just writing the name and it writes it with comma the next common text comma and so on and at the finish I just writing the end array is a closing square bracket and end object is a closing bracket and with flush method I'm writing it to the hard drive from the memory and I need to add it to the output files list let's try to execute writing the commands And finally, I'm finished writing and add to the output files list. Here we are demonstrated using of standard classes to write files. But in the next section, I will show you a more convenient way to write files inside post-processor because it has special methods and it has integration with the post-processing system. So we will have debugging, debugging lines just after writing inside sealed data viewer and additionally we have some useful methods inside these classes. Now let's look at example where we can use the text and C file class. This class is implemented inside post-processing system and can be used to write exactly the output files of the post-processor because it has tight integration with the post-processing system the system knows how to work with them it shows the output in lifetime just after we are writing to the this file and uh, you can see that implementation is very simple we just add declaration of the file create them and just use very simple here i declare declaring creating new file and writing the name of the file to the object and additionally, I can define encoding for the output file. Uh, by default, encoding is UTF-8. It's encoding that use one character to encode English letters and two or four bytes to encode non-English characters. By default it's UTF-8 encoding now in the .NET and inside Windows operating system. 
and the next uh, you can define any other encoding what you need and inside the before command handle adjust writing the name and you can see on finished project handler is empty it's because there is no need to have additional code to add the file to the sealed data viewer because it will be added automatically on creation the next code is commented there is no additional executable code let's try to start now we are starting from scratch and now you can see uh, when we are creating new file it appears inside seal data view later we are writing the name to the output file name and this name appears inside seal data view and when we are writing content of the file each line appears inside till data view very convenient for debugging Now we have ready file. Due to such state integration and narrow focus on data writing by post processors, we have very cool possibilities. We have mapping from sealed data commons to NC code lines just double clicking on the command inside seal data view shows correspondent line inside output file and the back direction also works now let's look at additional features that text and C files has class has uh, I can uncomment the next handler and demonstrate you the possibility to disable writing to the files let's say uncomment this handler and for example if I want to ignore some set of commands placed inside approach section, where is it? Approach section. Now let's find it. here for example I want I want to ignore all these comments I can write on structure handler and if I have approach section open I just call disable output and all text and C files will ignore writing data there will no writing inside a resulting file and 
on closing I have enable output and uh, the next execution will be as it was before let's try to check I'm creating the file define the name and writing line by line before we are reaching the approach section the next let's say change the breakpoint next 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 and yes now we are inside approach section oh sorry i'm pressed okay it has disabled output now output is disabled because it work inside this branch and let's see next now it's placed it inside rapid and multi gato common but there is no correspondent output inside text file txt because it's ignored ignored until we have approach section again yes we reached it and let's look at it now you can see that it enables output and the next code will work with output as it was before let's disable and finish file so now we have full text of the command but excluding the comments inside approach sections of operations now let's look at the next feature the next feature is filtration of the writing string let's say uncomment next handler each time when we are writing to the text and c file on each action of writing the special handler on filter string as called and inside this handler we can implement some additional string conversion for example in this exact case I am converting to the lower case let's try it now you can see that we have usual string but after conversion it has lowercase characters and the same for each line now you can make any conversion and now you can see all commons has lower case in the next handler i want to demonstrate the feature of early termination of the project translation for example while executing 
translation we have found uh, that we have some incorrect situation for example we are reaching some cycle inside seal data that cnc controller doesn't support so when we have cycle type 81 we can output that it doesn't support by the cnc system and break for the translation let's check it now we are inside x cycle of needed type and the next line will show some error message inside messages of serial data viewer and the same will inside post-processing window of sprutcan and the break translation will terminate all additional execution of handlers and now we have exec cycle as the last output string in the next example i will show additional features this example demonstrates generation of two files at the same time let's look at this code it's very simple but we will have two files at the output points and lines inside points we have coordinates for each point with its numbers point one that coordinates and on the lines section we have movements to these points and the type of movement for example from 9 to 10 we have movement using go to and from this to this one we have circle movement let's look at the code now i also demonstrate that we we are using c sharp language that has possibilities to inherit from the classes and now i am inherited from the text and c file class and i have had some additional information that's linked to the instance of the file now it's points counter and i have additional method add point that increments this counter and writes the point to the file and it has coordinates of the point as the input the, the 3d point is xyz coordinates and now now i am incrementing counter and writing and as a return value is index of the point and the next file also inherits from text file is just file of movements lines file it also has method to add new movement move to point and it has point index as the input and the movement type
and now I am writing this information to the file. And inside post processor, I am just declaring this points file and lines file, define the names for each file, and inside movements, I am just writing. On before movement, it's special movement, it's special handler that code for each movement. For example, go to, multi go to, circle, multi arc, physic go to, and so on. All movements will hit to this handler. And here I'm adding point to the points file with the cmd end point is the final point of each movement and i'm get index of new point and after this i'm add uh, movement to this point to the lines file now let's try to run step by step now let's look at the files creating new file it appears here creating new second file and we have two files lines and points and after that inside movements because origin is also can have movements for example of rotary axis but not so important let's I go inside this method here I'm counting the point is one and writing to the file. Now we have the point with exactly the same coordinates as a, on input parameters. And then I return the point index to the procedure above. And to the lines I need to add movement to this point and the origin as a type and you can see that in line in, inside lines i have corresponded line and for the further for the next commands i have the same behavior let's say disable and translate it to finish and now I have two files with points and movements now you, you can generate many files at the same time and of course you can use inheritance of classes in this example i will demonstrate the feature of writing information to the arbitrary position inside the file the example is very similar to the previous case when we have two sections section with points and section with lines but in contrast to the previous case I'm writing this to one file but in different placements points are 
movements at the start and points at the end of the file. Now let's look at the code and implementation is very similar. Here I'm also defining the file but for simplification I don't use inheritance here just direct using of text and C file and additionally I'm declaring special objects and C labels and C labels it's some pointer to an exact position inside text file it points to the some exact position and later I can return to writing to this position. I have two labels for this exact case. One for movements and another for points section and point counter. Now let's look at the start project handler. I'm declaring and creating new file and define the name. Then I'm starting to write movement section and after that I'm remembering the position after the just write just written movement section line. After that I'm writing the finish of the movement section, some empty line and start of point section. And the next I am remembering the position inside the point section and writing the finish of point section. And after that, uh, I'm switching the labels to the right snap mode. I will demonstrate it in the next example. Inside on before movement, I'm just incrementing the counter and directly writing to the file. But I have second parameter for each right line command. The second parameter is the label to which I want to write this string. If this parameter is empty, writing will be performed to the end of the file. If this parameter is non-empty, it will write to the position that is label points and now I'm writing points to the point section and movements to the move to section. Let's let's try to launch. And execute it line by line. Now I'm just creating the file. It appears here and now I'm starting to write movements and inside labels I remember the position. Let's look at it position and so magic numbers fragment two not so important just some position inside file and end of movement section the label should point to this position after the first movement section and end of line characters after that I'm writing the empty line 
and start of point section. And remember the position of point section inside label. And again some magic numbers. Not so important. And writing the end of point section. And now let's look at the labels. Now by default it they have left snap mode, but after snap to right method they will have right snap mode. I will demonstrate it in the next example. Now inside movements I am writing to these sections. I have origin again. Increment the point and let's look at the writing. The second parameter is position of points section and you can see that inside point section our new line will appear and the next file uh, file right to file line is right movement move to inside movement section and the next commands will have the same point movement, point movement, and so on. Let's finish it. So now I have two different sections inside one file. But let's demonstrate some one, some additional feature. If we are writing only one line to each section, it's enough to use second parameter of write, write methods. But if we are writing many, many lines to one section at, without switching to another section, it's not so comfortable to use second parameter each time. So I can just set up default label and where I'm defining the default label I can skip the label definition inside second parameter and writing will be performed inside this default label and after writing to the point section I'm switching to the movement section and writing with the right methods as usual. Let's execute. The starting is fully the same. And inside movements, I'm declaring the default label as point section. And after that, I'm writing just as usual, usual. And use many lines, many writing methods and all writing performed to the point section. Start of the movement, middle part and the end of the point. And for the movement section fully the same. So using this way we can get very convenient way to make 
files that have different sections inside it. And I want to demonstrate labels on the next simple example. Let's look at it. I promised to demonstrate work of NC labels. Now let's look at this very simple example. Here we have some text file and writing some section document. The start of section, then remembering position inside the section and writing the end of this section. Now I have switching to the snap right mode for the label. After that I'm writing some characters to position of the label and we will see that depend on the mode depend on, depend on snap mode Characters will insert to different position. And C label has a snap mode parameter. It can have only two possible values, left and right, and two methods to switch between them: snap to left and snap to right. It defines to which position insert the text. From the left or from the right of the label. And then I'm right and switching to the left snap mode and writing some characters again. Let's try to execute and watch the difference. Starting the file, starting the documents section, remembering the label and writing the end of document section. Now by default the label has left snap mode. So the text, ah, so let's try to switch it to the right snap mode. Snap to right and you can see that snap mode is right. And now when I am writing new character to the section, it will insert to the right, to, to, to the left from the label and label will snap to right. Label snaps to right but the character inserted to the left from the label. Next, B character. And you can see it will insert to the position where the label is points. And after that, you can see the position of the label is here. After switching to the left mode, now let's look where we'll be writing character. Let's execute and now you also can see that it's placed inside position where label points but the label now left at the left 
from this character. Let's try next character. Now E is at the position where label is, but it's from the left. And you can see that label is here. Now let's try it again, just a little faster. Very simple. And now let's look at the final example of the video. This example will demonstrate first some additional writing of several files. Uh, one file for each operation and main purpose is to demonstrate how to make additional post-processing of files that the post-processor has. Now let's look at the code. Everything as usual, we are defining new text C file and uh, counting the files because we are writing separate fail, file for each new operation on, inside on start take operation handler and inside on finish operation handler we are finalizing one each file and the content of the file is just common caption And after writing all files, uh, now I'm using some convenient syntax. It's just the same as we are checking that the file is not null. But it's more simple ways using this way. So we are written some files, one file for each operation and finally uh, inside special handler on finalize nc files we are, we are making some additional post processing for these files. As the input, we have the list for these files, and C files manager, and C files. And inside it, we can walk through these files and make some additional actions. For example, copy to some another folder or more complex way we can copy it to some network location that controller has access to this folder for example robots or machine controller in this exact case we just remembering the names to some string variable arcs through the space and finally we can start some additional utility and send the name of these files to this utility this util can make some additional post-processing for example copying to the robot or machine or compilation of these files or 
many many different actions possible. In this exact case I just start notepad plus plus text editor and send the names of files as the input. Let's try to start and check how it works. At the start of each operation, I'm creating the new file and the index inside the file name is incremented for each file. And then I'm writing the document line. After that, on finish operation, I'm writing the end of the document and reset the file variable. And the next operation I have creating I'm creating new file again and so on. After all operations I have eight files. One file for each operation. Let's look at operations. I have eight operations inside this project. And I inside on final NC files, on finalized NC files block, and here I'm remembering the names to the arcs variable. Here we have all file names for the space. And just start notepad plus plus. And it's here. And all files. We have all files here. Now let's try it again without breakpoints. Okay. So today we have demonstrated the possibilities of working with output files of post-processors how to create them, how to manage them, what writing methods they are. Uh, and uh, finally, we demonstrated how to post-process these files. Thanks for watching.